it so that they're fun, but also still enjoyable to play, and not just like those weird little instances. Well, you know who is fun to play, but not play against? Kazuya. Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima, and the Infant pulling out Kazuya just for John numbers. That's, uh, if I was in English class, that's called a uh, Zabuto message. <laughs> hey, I mean, they're rocking the, the Akogotai. They're playing out just, they're, they're playing out the victory formation. And Kazuya is just this nuclear bomb waiting to happen. <laughs> nuclear bomb versus coughing baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how Fawn is playing, and that's why Fawn's kind of in a lead. Kazuya has that kind of just explode factor. Like, oh, yeah. your health, your percentage can go from 0 to literally 125 in about 3 or 4 hits. And it's up to John to kind of outplay that. You realize, what's Kazuya bad at? Okay, recovering can kind of be a little bit messy for Kazuya. Maybe being in the air, a little bit messy for him as well. Get overdrive out of here as well. Like, all these small things and numbers I know he can do, and he will put to the test. Oh, the drift there was so slight, but going back to the ledge there from Fawn was so perfect. The down air as well. Demon Scissors is what it's called. You're better than me. <laughs> I down air. The, tech, the Tekken Moon names are so cool, but some of them are better than others. I don't remember what the back air one is, but uh, either way, it does close out the stock, and Fawn has the opportunity. No raise drive to really get it going, but Kazuya can just sneeze and deal you 40. Trying for the Heaven Store as well to take the stock with Hello. Ooh, Kazuya a little bit too stubby for that reverse punch. I do the actual cry name, personally. <laughs> going in for the I'll, forest I'll smash, that, not going to be quite... We got this. We got this. <laughs> We're going in for the forest smash, and then John is able to just punish it, going waiting for the getup for a long time, and <laughs> that would have been a really, really, really great down smash. It's still going to be putting Fawn in a favorable position underneath this platform, punishing John on that dash tag on, on shield. Yeah, John... Always ready for those little mix-ups. And the delay tech there was just so good from numbers in order to get out of a very dangerous situation because, I mean, it's pretty easy to gamble who's on, on who's going to be more patient, numbers or his opponent. Yeah, 9 times out of 10 is definitely going to be numbers, but Fawn still has that ability to just be as patient as John. Oh, sure. I think this is kind of one of these where we mash out of berry, going in for the Nair, and Lee. Interesting attempt at, at the punish from numbers, but at the very least, both players are unscathed, still going in with the aggression of both. Trying to get the, side, the, the, the stepping sidekick, but it's going to be John able to punish once more. And can you recover from here? You should be able to. And as I say that, man, I think it's a little bit harder for Fawn. What's so hilarious about Kazuya sometimes is, despite how limited his options may be off stage, because he's so heavy, and Fawn making use of this throughout the entire disadvantage sequence. If you're not throwing Kazuya off the blast zone, then you just up B again, get higher and higher, and utilize your drift to make it eventually back to ledge. I almost want to see numbers shift more towards uh, juggling rather than strictly pushing off stage every single time. That's my favorite move that Kazuya has because of the angle that it just sends at. Like, it's a, you usually just die or you just can't recover from that deep in the blast zone. Unfortunately for Numbers, it was the former, but Numbers coming in with the Vengeance, going in with the back air, with deep breathing active only until right then and there. Now just, it's just base we fit dealing with a starting to get very agitated Kazuya. Oh, going for the Nair spike there as an, a chance to find the reversal. You do have the Rage Drive online and risking it, but no Biscuit is found. Just little hits here and there looking for up bears. I almost want to see Fawn just like pull it. Oh, you're gone. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> it's just such a gamble. It's such a gamble, but a very strong gambit if you are willing to take the test. And you know what, Fawn? She's willing to risk it for said biscuit. This is such a good move. And it, I, I specifically, I would see... Shout out to Ski, my goat. My I miss goat. you. I would see Skeet do that all the time, and it would just trip up every single person that he would fight against. Because they're not expecting that option typically from uh from Kazuya on off stage but Fawn said I have a I have a game on board she let me let me just uh go back to duck up real fast oh the Kazuya did its job that's what the, the Kazuya is there to steal a game becoming this perfect counter pick where you can just drop it into any set and potentially win a game with the said character so then when you pivot to your main you have counter pick advantage you're yep. playing on uh, you're playing on the front foot and Fawn is already good enough to beat just about anybody with this duck hunt. 
play with a nuclear bomb in her pocket too. Even if you just, even if you are, if you know, like, uh, throughout time, you can win against John in one game with Duck Hunt. If you can buffer that Kazio win, you are, you have that much better of a chance of winning this game with Absolutely. Duck Hunt. Absolutely. Like, and Numbers has to also adapt from close range, you gotta avoid Kazia game plan to, alright, I can kind of play a little bit further again with Duck Hunt, but not be, I'd be really careful about Lily everything on screen. I will say the change of tempo almost never seems to affect numbers too much. Oh no. But the, the little options and little intricacies of Duck Hunt certainly will. For sure. And I think, as we were saying, numbers kind of doesn't really care. Excellent tech. Vaughn would have made back anyway, but only secured her place back on the on the uh, on the stage as we go in for that forward smash on the soccer ball instead of John. Unfortunately, the ball maybe John had shaped, but. It's not we fit herself. It's gonna be leaving John again in a good advantage with only 90% and counting. Oh lord, that entire sequence was so good from numbers, but can he finish it off? No, he cannot result uh, the multitude of solid interactions and just like awareness of your plus frames into a stock. Instead, just retreating back to where he is so comfortable. The Damn. jump over the clay pigeon into reverse fair. That was so nasty for numbers, and you died for it because you're greedy. Stop being greedy. <laughs> the clay pigeons are not cookies. They're trying to kill you. Wait, hold on. <laughs> you may giggle. I'm here to be funny. Please. You may laugh outwardly. Okay, Fong going in with the upper on the platform and trying to go for his clay pigeons, but the parry game on numbers is pretty much dialed in the on lock at all times. But the position that Vaughn does have here is superb. This is where she kind of wants to be, where you have the gunman, you have the clay pigeons, you have the cans for that down throw connection, and then to buff out the, the back air, go for a clay pigeon. They're all frame one options that are so able to be utilized. Oh yeah, the ability to spawn items just to interrupt any of the, the soccer ball, or especially the, that sun salutation, force John to throw it or get hit, and by extension, reduce the amount of healing that John can do in any individual moment. It's only 2%, but that can matter a whole lot against a character like Duck Hunt, whose kill options can get very, very uh, late in stocks if you're not hitting some pretty extreme combos. All right, missing that forward smash from numbers is a really good opportunity for Fauna to punish, but only able to get a tiny bit of, uh, of extra credit off of that punish. We do see this house sun citation coming in and getting a whole lot of percentage on here, but I even had to say that, they're so even right now, maybe not in terms of stocks, because this is getting very, very scary for the duck hunt, but at least in terms of uh, percentages of just the respect of each player for their, char their respective characters and what they can do, it's so, so great right now. Missing the can, missing the clipage, and numbers gonna be able to utilize that. Trying to go off stage, trying to go for the soccer ball, but I think Vaughn just realized she can't duck under the stage like, just, like usual on things like Smashville. So, damn, you're wobbling. You just got wobbled against the stage and untucked. You cannot take that. Yeah, too much, too shaky in that decision making. It's just that a little bit of hesitation, but it was correct in the sense like the double jump already being used over here ish. Yeah. Just kind of caught Fawn between a rock and a hard place. The, the stage a little bit too spoked, oh, too spoked in order to make it down. So you just kind of had to say, "All right, I guess I'm engaging. Num I'm engaging with numbers and going to try yep. to hit this tech." But deep breathing header, excuse me, deep breathing header is going to take no prisoners as we bring ourselves back to the Kazia. But, smartly on the part of Numbers, aware of said Kazia, bans FD expecting this to be a possibility. I would not want to go FD against Kazia either, please, no. he's smart for that. No, no thanks. Immediate dash attack with a deep breathing active, and Sensation pretty much fully, almost fully charged up. Again, another dash attack, two dash attacks, so we get another one for our efforts. Now we're going in for the up air into the up smash. Love to see it, truly. And no, then, no. oh my god. Fawn might die here. I think Fawn can take... All right. You're not in the blast zone. Air dodge used. Not landed quite yet, but... Oh, wait. Did they get the... They got the laser back. They did land. Oh, she we're just getting down in order to get all of her resources back. Had the laser to stall and the, a jump after the uppie as well. Perfect timing. Trying to take John down with her, but no dice. That was just really good pacing from John. I think that was just refit rolling being just refit roll. 
but it outspaced just enough for that stun from Fawn off the ledge to not be pickable. And that gets lets uh, numbers just have a really good lead here, unlike in game one, where it was very back and forth, but it could it went Fawn's way so many times. Nair into the uh the uppercut and then the Nair spike just being like, Oh you want you want breathe out of here. Yeah, missing the electric a uh, second time there is Fawn not getting the full extent of those combos despite winning neutral in that moment. Still, you are able to pick up the stock in order to keep this extremely even. She's playing so aerial based with so many of these fairs. A lot of uh, double jump cancel fairs, a lot of nares trying to come down. Looking for more traditional starters, but hey, sometimes you just gotta command dash in. You've got that invulnerability for a reason, and John has to respect it. Yeah, Skyzer just does just have a lot of, I believe, super armor on at almost all his moves. You just use it, abuse it. Let the 599 carry you a little bit. It's okay. We paid extra for you to be able to win. I'm kidding. This is. This <laughs> we're kidding. But I think Fawn's taking a little bit of our advice here. Just going in with everything that really cannot be too counter against. And. Pfft. Oh my god. Staying grounded. That's what's like. Every move has some level of intangibility to it. And that Oni front kick, it's gonna kick him right out of her area. Keeping that space on, utilizing the platform as a pseudo place, uh, as a pseudo grounded move, going for another one of those forward tilts, but no dice. Flash tornado. John trying to go up the cross up on the back here, and, let, and they kind of works in his favor as we get the up throw and the into the soccer ball, letting uh, Fawn get into that extra amount of damage that she can do. But it's going to be going away very, very soon if she's not very careful. I believe eight more percent. I think it goes away. Yeah, either eight more percent or one miss, I think, is yeah. what she has left at her disposal. Good fairy. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very good fairy. Let's go fairy. That fairy. <laughs> it, it's only three frames, but it matters. Every, wow, you are holding on to this rage drive here, sir. Like, Kazuya. <laughs> Kazuya, Mr. Kazuya, please. Use Mis it. Mr. Mishima, <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to jail. Damn, and you're also going to the blast zone. <laughs> No rage drive, but I still think it's it's so possible for John to just die right here, right now at 150 against Kaz. Good, good angle on the laser, and also I love that the slight jump up of the laser allowed Fawn to just av nearly avoid the sun out coming on from the out from the state from the uh, from the blast zone. So this is anyone's game. I think Fawn can't take it if we play that grounded playstyle because that second stock was very, very, very well played as Kazia. Yeah, making this extremely even. Uh -oh. Oh, the shield poke in order to get the berry, but no finishing blow here from numbers quite yet. And Rage Drive is online. Now, keep in mind, Mont, it's not just the uh, powered up command grab that Kazuya gets, but also a 1.1 times damage boost. Yep. Any single hit could be so. Oh, I'm sorry, at 23, 44 after two, two stray hits. And threatening uh, a big play potential here from Fawn. She uh, dashing back and forth. Keeping that auto turnaround online, oh, but man. not able to power through the Sun Salutation. And going for the laser, John calling out the stall. Something that Fawn had done time and time Don't again is utilize all of her resources but in some combination yep. before trying to get back to ledge. Laser, uh, up B, double jumps, one, some combination of those three. Uh, which means that if Kazi is just going to be a sitting duck out there, character like we fit particularly with deep breathing particularly with that extra speed boost you get you can get out there and find that punish you see here air dodge used as well so just purely limited john realizing the win condition and the checkmate goes to numbers who puts himself in grand finals for another xeno <laughs> for another xeno ladies and gentlemen